Hello everyone, I've got a little short video here for you on how I use my best tester, uh, including a couple of tips for how to get uh, accurate results. If you're tuning into this video, it's probably because you've uh, heard of one of these before, seen one of these before, or use one uh, for yourself. But as a quick primer for those of, you, those of you that are new to the device, this is a way to measure the sharpness and quantify the sharpness uh, of a knife or, or anything with an edge. Um, essentially, it's a converted weigh scale uh, that measures grams of downward force. Uh, and what we're doing is on this uh, holder here, I don't know whether the camera will pick up the thread, but there's a little short thread there spanning, spanning this gap. Uh, and as the knife is pressing down on that thread, the scale is registering that downward force until the moment when the thread severs, uh, and then there's no more force being applied on the scale and it will stop at a particular reading. Uh, and you can see um, the you, you can see the force that was applied. And the, the more force, the, the duller your knife essentially, or conversely, the lower the number, the, the sharper is the edge uh, that you're testing. So I'm gonna show just, just quickly how this, uh, how this works. So tear it back to tear it back to zero. Uh, and I've just got a uh, very simple knife here. Actually, it's called Mora, Mora Basic. Not one I've been sharpening today, uh, but just for demonstration purposes, I thought this would be a nice, uh, nice, nice all rounder. So uh, apply the uh, apply the knife into the into the uh, support holder here, and then press the edge down on the thread, nice and slow. You see the number starting to climb up. Uh, and at a certain point, the thread is severed, and I get a result of 158. So, uh, in on on the best scale, just to give some some frame of reference, 50 uh, is the sharpness of a disposable razor blade. So that's sort of the gold standard when we're talking about uh, knife sharpening. Something in this region of 150 is sharp, uh, quite sharp, um, probably sharper than an out of the box uh, edge, but not as good as it can be. Uh, buying a new knife, you're probably gonna get something in the region of 175 to 250. And if you if you then, as, as a knife gets used, gets worked, get drags across the cutting board, etc., the best is gonna increase um, something around 450 or so. You're gonna start to notice uh, issues with cutting and eventually you know, into very dull knives you have in the high, you know, several hundred, six, seven hundred, all the way up to a butter knife uh, is between 1700 and 200 uh, best units. But anyway, back to our test. This one is pretty good. Now, in order to get uh, repeatable results, one of the important uh, things to, to keep in mind is the tension of the thread can influence the, influence the results. So, um, if I repeat the if I repeat the test here, but I'm going to pull as hard as I can uh, on the on the thread to make it very to make the tension very high. Set this up again. We are going to get a lower number. Uh, so let's see. There we go. 66. <laughs> this knife is not 66 best uh, sharp. I can I can assure you that. The way to get around that problem, uh, and it wasn't me that came up with this. Uh, I'm not actually sure who who had the idea. I first saw it on on a YouTube video, uh, another YouTube video. But is to take 100 gram weight, and you attach it to a magnetic clip, and you can before you tighten the thread in position, you can hang the 100 gram weight off it. And that way you're applying a very consistent amount of pressure. Oh, if you do this uh, enough, that's that's going to happen to you. Uh, now I've got 100 grams worth of tension uh, on that thread. I'll apply that back down. And we should get something closer to my uh, first reading. Let's see how we do. Yep, 159. Um, so pretty good in in terms of consistency, but you can see hopefully the effect that the that the, the tension has. Um, when you this uh, thread uh, support comes with a spool underneath it like that. Uh, there's enough in there for about 350 to 400 tests, depending on how much uh, excess you you leave off the end. So this is the this is the way that I do most of my best measurements when I'm just doing checks during a sharpening or when I've got a new knife and I just want to see roughly where it lands. But for any sort of official results, because of this tension issue, 
uh, Edge on up, the maker of this of this system, has another solution. Um, they sell these clips, uh, which have the thread in it that's already pre-tensioned uh, to a to a known amount, and you can buy these in packs of packs of 100 uh, with a little with a little support stand. Drop that in there, uh, and that will give you. Oops, I've got a used one here. Let me take a new one. Um, these will give you a much more comparable uh, result because you're talking about consistent tension, consistent mounting uh, of the of the thread. So I'm going to pop this one in place and just see uh, see where we stand on the official the, with the with the official preloaded clips. 128. So actually even sharper uh, than than with than with my own measurement, but it it, it gives you an idea. Uh, so I'll use these pretension clips for any sort of final measurement. So, for example, if I wanted to give uh, a sharpness reading to to a customer, or to be able to compare uh, on 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 different days, or to compare to other sharpeners, I think this is a much more reliable way to do to do that. Now, uh, two more things uh, that I quickly wanted to show. One is uh, if you're using this the the, the thread support system, um, it can. It, it, the, the diameter of it and circumference of it is very similar to the, to the circumference of the spot where it sits on the scale. And one of the things you have to be careful of is if it's pressing against the side here, then when you press down on the knife stand, you're already starting to get some best readings. Uh, now, in this case, it's only about three, uh, three units. There, 27. So just by putting the knife in the support before I've even touched the thread, I'm already registering 27 best points, which I don't want. So, uh, just as a check to do for yourself, you just want to just give that a little wiggle, make sure that it's well centered, and a, and a check that I do before I put a knife on there is just press down on the support stand to make sure that that doesn't change. That's one. Another thing uh, to be careful of is, is when you are pressing the knife down, you want to be increasing the pressure gently enough that you can actually see the numbers sort of scrolling up. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and reproduce that for you here. So nice and gentle. If uh, you want to cheat the system, and I really, uh, you, can, you can see this on, on, on YouTube videos uh, and, and other places. Um, if you apply a, a chopping motion, you can artificially lower your best scores. Now to me, you're only cheating yourself. Um, but I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. Um, so I'm going to do an exaggerated uh, chop downwards uh, here and just watch what happens to the best score. 18. <laughs> this is definitely not uh, two and a half times sharper than a, than a razor blade. Uh, so hopefully it gives you an idea. Anyways, um, hope this was useful. Um, and uh, please do leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe. I'm planning on doing lots more uh, videos like this, demonstrations, um, because I quite enjoy it. Thank you for tuning in if you've made it this far.